So was the switching a big part of the game plan? Switching from southpaw to orthodox? We saw you do that a lot tonight. Um, yes, that's definitely part of my style. So we just kind of wanted to um, keep that in the game plan because I knew that um, she doesn't fight southpaws too often. So switching is something that I wanted to do so I can um, you know, either circle around her, set her up for the straight right, and just kind of just give her different different angles and different views because if you stand right in front of her, that's where she wants you. So, Nisa, how does it feel just you know joining you know Canelo just being the second Mexican to be undisputed you know in the four belt? Uh... It feels great, yeah. It feels great to to be anywhere near what, what accomplishments of Canelo. So he's one of my favorite fighters. So, do you see any ring rust in long layoff? Ring rust? Um, yeah, definitely. I think the it's been eight months and I could have gone into a tune-up fight because I just came off the surgery, but I wanted to have the biggest fights possible this year. I've want, I, being undisputed was long overdue and it's something that I've been wanting, so I wanted to come straight into this fight, even though even though I've been off for eight months. So yeah, it took me a, a couple rounds to shake it off, but once I got my groove going, there's no stopping me. Were you, were you surprised by the reaction of the fans afterwards when the decision was read? Um, I honestly didn't even... I didn't even really care what, what the crowd was saying. I mean, of course, they're going to, the reaction of, the underdog reaction, but there was, there's no way she won the fight. No way it was a draw. I mean, I, I give her a couple rounds, but that's it. In the hand, Sinisa. Walking out with Michael. <laughs> oh, it was great. Michael, um, I trained at his gym for the last couple of days, and I watched his fights, and he was such a great champion and such a talented fighter, so... Walking out with him was great. He's a he's a legend from Arizona and a legend on his weight class. And he gave me some motivation and inspiration as I was walking in. The hands, so Anissa, so was it? Were there any issues during the fight? How did it feel coming back with the hand? And, and how does it feel now? Uh, my hand feels good right now. Yes. Um, during training camp, it didn't feel 100%. Um, the doctor said you can't guarantee if my hand will ever feel 100%. But I just I did therapy three to four times a week. After training and after sparring, there was some pain, but I iced it, did everything I could to make sure that tonight it was 100%. So. How soon would you like to get back in the ring? Um, I have two more fights left this year, so um, talk to top rank and talk to my team and see what's next. Uh, the, the, the thing is just, it's not how soon, it's, it's what's next, you know, moving up weight class. I mean, you're so 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 I don't share with us that you're going to get married. And now you're on the spirit. What a year. It's going to be one of the best years of your life. It's a great year for sure, yes. I'm Sunisa, excited. is there enough, enough animosity still to do a rematch? I mean, has it ever been cleared or is there still a little bit of heat between you guys? I mean, if it was a, a, a close fight and a draw, I would I would consider a rematch. But, I mean, I'm going to speed a champion. And it, was, it, was a, it wasn't a close fight. It wasn't a draw. So. How much do you think the cut affected her? It was a competitive fight. I thought you won. It was competitive, more competitive than most of your fights. If they think they were robbed, would you be open for a rematch or you just ready to move on? Um, I don't think it was competitive in a lot of my fights. I think with the, with the scorecards and how many rounds I won, it wasn't competitive. She's a tough, a tough opponent, of course. She's going to keep she's gonna keep coming. I already knew that. Um, but, yeah. So no, Sealy enough, Women's History Month. This is such a great accomplishment for women around, all around. Undisputed, just a message for, I mean, we see here, not a lot of females. You're at the top of the game. Message for everyone. Yeah, it's a great way to end Women's History Month. Um, it's been a long journey for me, starting at the age of eight. Women's boxing was nowhere, so it's just a great feeling to be a, a trailblazer for all young girls coming up and all the women who are sport now, Christelle, Kayla, Marista, Amanda, Katie, so many girls I could keep naming them, but um, I'm just happy that we're growing the sport with boxing. So this, uh, so this congratulations, uh, who's, who's in the DMs congratulating you? Uh. <laughs> I, ha I haven't checked yet, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just uh, relieved and just want to enjoy this time with my, with 
with my team and my family, and I'll, I'll check the DMs another day. <laughs> so you say, Sunisa, Sunisa, undisputed now, what is next? Like, what is there else to accomplish after, you know, doing this uh, hum humongous task? Um, I think I'm, I'm definitely done with the minimum weight division. I, I defeated each champion to get the belt, and um, yeah, I think I think moving up a weight class, so talk to my team and see what opponent we can. Sinisa, one more? Yes, Sinisa, you, are you close to have the fight accuse you of the headbutt being on purpose? Do you care to comment on that? Uh, no, of course that was not on purpose. She she got cut from a headbutt in her last fight, so what does that tell you? I mean, she's, um, she, it's a fight. I'm slipping to the inside, she's coming in with her head as well. It happens. That, that, didn't, that didn't change the fact that she still lost many rounds after that. So, so, so what, what would that little girl that like, came to root for you and for her? There was a lot of great energy. Yeah. How did it feel to just feel the people saying this could have been a main event? Uh, it felt great, you know. <laughs> it, it felt like we were the main event, you know. But, of course, I'm, I'm a fan of Valdez. And I think he deserves everything that he, that's coming for him. And I'm so happy and proud that he won tonight. It was great to see that. And, you know, I'll get my chance to, to be made event. So, so what do you tell those five fans who supported you since day one, you know, fighting at the, the Belasco, fighting at, at 360 promotions early on? What do you tell those five fans who have been there, you know, since day one for Tim Estrada? Thank you. Thank you to all my fans who believe in me and all you guys in the media. You know, there's a lot of you here who have been following me since I was fighting at Belasco where I was fighting on Tom Loeffler's undercard and selling tickets and stuff like that. So just... Thank you, guys. So, Lisa, what would that little girl wearing the Hello Kitty shirt and the headgear, you know, like to think about you today? Um, she'll be proud. Yeah. Very proud. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Congrats, Anissa. Thank you so much. Congrats. I won. I made a crime. <laughs> 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 She's moving up to a welterweight next, Michaela. Joe.